These were not artifacts from the detector. These were not strange stars. The whole of the sky was filled with galaxies. There was no empty sky. And that's when I went, this telescope's going to be phenomenal. The Webb Telescope has opened up new territory for astronomers. We can see things we could never see before at all. The Webb Telescope, with its advanced capabilities, has opened a new frontier in our understanding of the universe by probing the earliest structures known to exist. Astounding images reveal multiple luminous anomalies, or blotches, scattered throughout the depths of space. One particular object captured the attention of astronomers due to its surprising brightness. Initially, observers speculated that such luminosity indicated a relatively close distance. However, upon further investigation, including detailed spectroscopy, it became clear that this yellow blob is, in fact, the most distant galaxy ever observed. Well, we've discovered the most distant galaxy in the universe, the one that is the furthest away from us that we currently know about. So as we zoom in, we keep going, we keep going, and now this red splotch that you see there, that galaxy, that's a galaxy, that galaxy is more than 33 billion light years away. This finding raises profound questions about the conditions prevalent in the early universe, suggesting that something extraordinary was at play during a period that remains largely mysterious. Researchers are uncovering thousands of peculiar entities in these deep field images, yet many remain baffled by the nature of these objects, which differ significantly from the early galaxies we are familiar with. The Webb Telescope has succeeded in peering into the universe's dark ages for the first time, revealing structures that challenge the established timeline of cosmology. Most scientists currently agree that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. However, the unusual formations observed in these images could imply substantial revisions to this understanding. In light of these groundbreaking observations, several Nobel laureates have proposed that the early universe may have been fundamentally different from previous theories. Some researchers are even entertaining the radical notion that the universe might not have had a definitive beginning. They speculate that what we currently interpret as the early universe could actually be a phenomenon beyond our current comprehension. According to the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, which has been the standard framework in cosmology for explaining the universe's composition and evolution, some of these newly discovered objects seem excessively massive. This is a huge discovery, and that's the most exciting piece of this of this telescope, of this remarkable instrument we put in space, is finding things that we didn't expect, that we can't explain, because that means that we have to revise our understanding of the universe. Observations reveal that they possess an inexplicably high number of stars for their age, suggesting that a significant portion of the ordinary matter in the universe must have collapsed into these entities. Yet, this notion contradicts our understanding, as there wouldn't have been sufficient ordinary matter available at that time to produce such immense numbers of stars. This revelation prompts an essential question. What exactly did the Webb Telescope observe at the very edge of the universe? And why do scientists believe these discoveries could lead to revolutionary changes in our understanding of cosmology? Since Edwin Hubble's groundbreaking work in 1929, it has been known that galaxies are receding from one another, a phenomenon resulting from the expansion of space itself. However, this expansion lacks a singular center, meaning that observers in any location within the universe perceive distant galaxies moving away as if they are the focal point of expansion. Expansion rate of the universe in our current epoch and trying to compare that to what might be predicted from looking at other measurements of the universe with other telescopes, Right now, we're finding a discrepancy between what we might have expected and what we're actually measuring. Moreover, scientists have documented not just the expansion of the universe, but also its acceleration, indicating that galaxies situated far away are retreating from us at an increasingly rapid pace compared to those nearby. For instance, if we visualize Earth as a reference point, it becomes clear that as we look deeper into space using the Webb telescope, we observe that an increasing number of distant galaxies appear to be moving away at velocities approaching the speed of light. This complex interplay of cosmic dynamics raises fundamental questions about the nature of the universe and the mechanisms driving its evolution. Scientists have termed this region the Hubble Sphere, which marks a 
boundary within the cosmos where galaxies beyond that limit are receding from us at speeds exceeding that of light due to the expansion of the universe. Intuitively, one might assume that we will never be able to perceive the light emitted from these distant galaxies, since they are moving away from us faster than light can travel. Surprisingly, this assumption does not hold true. The light from galaxies located beyond the Hubble sphere can still reach us, because the Hubble sphere itself is expanding, as a result of the accelerating expansion of space. This expansion allows increasingly distant galaxies, which are receding from us at speeds greater than light, to eventually enter our observational range. However, there is a finite limit to how far we can peer into the cosmos. Scientists refer to this boundary as the observable universe, which spans approximately 92 billion light years across. When we look toward the edge of this observable universe from Earth, we encounter a vast expanse filled with cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation serves as a remnant snapshot of the early universe, illustrating the state of the cosmos shortly after the Big Bang. In essence, when we observe far-off galaxies, we are not just gazing into space, but are, in fact, witnessing the universe as it appeared billions of years ago. For instance, the most distant galaxy identified by the Webb telescope, named Jade's GSZ14, resides within this observable universe. By studying it, we are looking back to a time when the universe was merely 290 million years old. Currently, this galaxy has traversed beyond the reach of our observable universe, and its present state is a mystery to us, as the light it emits will never have the chance to reach our telescopes. Over time, its matter will have evolved into new stars, galaxies, or other cosmic structures. It's important to note that the universe extends far beyond what we can observe. There are countless galaxies and stellar bodies that reach out into infinity. The concept of the observable universe is specific to observers situated on Earth. Other sentient species located in different regions of the universe would have varying volumes of observable reality based on their position. According to the standard cosmological model, it is believed that around 14 billion years ago, the entirety of the observable universe, along with everything beyond it, was compressed into an infinitesimally small, infinitely dense point known as a singularity. However, this perspective hinges on the assumption that the universe is finite. If the universe is, in fact, infinite, and evidence suggests it likely is, then it has always been infinite in extent. Consequently, when the Big Bang occurred, it happened uniformly throughout all of space, not originating from a specific location. This implies that the earliest galaxies formed across the entire universe. It appears as though matter emerged uniformly everywhere in the cosmos at a specific moment. The cosmic microwave background radiation we observe today is a remnant of this primordial light, originating from all directions, echoing the birth of matter throughout the universe. This understanding shapes our current theories regarding the universe's size, structure, and origins. But wait, there's more to unravel about the cosmos and its mysteries. The recent discoveries made by the Webb Telescope are profoundly challenging our existing theories about galaxy formation and the evolution of the universe. Initially, scientists anticipated that when the Webb Telescope focused on the distant reaches of the cosmos, it would observe the earliest stars and galaxies from the edge of the observable universe. However, during its latest observations of this uncharted territory, the telescope uncovered an array of unusual, luminous objects that do not conform to the characteristics of early galaxies. Despite numerous observations aimed at deciphering the nature of these enigmatic objects, scientists are struggling to categorize them. A significant development occurred when researchers published a study in the Astrophysical Journal, detailing the identification of 87 galaxies that may have existed between 200 million and 400 million years post-Big Bang. This finding has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, as current cosmological models suggest that the universe should not have had the capacity to form such a large number of galaxies in such a short time frame. Hao Jing Yan, an astronomer involved in the study, 
remarked that even if a few of these galaxies are ultimately validated, it would necessitate a fundamental re-examination of our understanding of galaxy formation in the early universe. One particularly captivating illustration from their findings depicts a unique early galaxy that fundamentally challenges our established concepts of how galaxies are constructed. Conventionally, galaxies are composed of diverse materials, such as gas and dust, revolving around a central core, which are essential for star formation. Through extensive analyses, scientists have typically concluded that merely 10% of a galaxy's gas transforms into stars. However, Webb has recently identified three primordial galaxies that have left astronomers baffled. Spectroscopy data from these objects reveals a remarkable and unexpected phenomenon. They have managed to convert 100% of the surrounding material into stars. This unprecedented discovery contradicts our existing cosmological models, which assert that it is virtually impossible for a galaxy to utilize all of its available atoms for star formation. These startling observations are inciting considerable debate among astronomers, leading many to reevaluate the mechanisms of early galaxy formation and the unexpected morphologies of these objects. A faction of scientists now posits that these luminous entities may not actually be galaxies at all but could represent an entirely new class of astronomical phenomena that remains to be understood. Furthermore, if these objects are indeed confirmed as galaxies, it could imply that the Big Bang model itself is fundamentally flawed, as it suggests that such structures could not have emerged in just a few million years following the universe's inception. Ultimately, this discovery underscores the prevailing uncertainty surrounding these objects, leaving the scientific community with more questions than answers. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, it is clear that our understanding of the universe is at a pivotal point. We invite you to share your thoughts and theories regarding the nature of these fascinating objects and their implications for our understanding of the early universe. Thank you for joining us in exploring this captivating topic.